There's a law against attempted murder, even in Baltimore. Uh, oh, God, my rib. I think I broke my rib. How can you tell if you have a broken rib? X-ray. Where am I going to get an X-ray? All I got is alcohol. Uh, that monstrous female. Am I bleeding heavily, Ralph? I don't see any blood. Well, what do you call that? Max Spectre number two. Oh, I thought it was blood. Skin's bruised, though, isn't it? I don't see anything. This color? I don't see anything. Oh, great, that's all I need, a blind stage manager. Harrison, I'll marry tonight. You don't know what that villain's done to me. I can't sit down. I said I can't sit down. I'm through with the theater. Send a car for me. Better still, send an ambulance. I'm black and blue. I want to go where no one will ever find me. I'll go to Washington. Oh, Harrison, darling, it's a whole new world with you. Hey, pack my things. I'll wear my black dress. Yes, Harrison. He beat me. I have black and blue. I'm a realistic actor. Yes, darling, I'm quitting right now. What? You don't think you can quit in the middle of a performance? Oh, no. Well, have you ever charged at equity? I shall be glad, glad to appear before equity. I shall bring photographs of what you have done to me, in technicolor. And I'll bring my x-rays. Nothing you can do or say will stop me. Is that your mystery man on the phone? Yes. He's coming for me right now. He's a real man. I'm leaving with you tonight. You don't really mean you leave. Okay, so you do. You bet. You'll never work in the theater again. Who wants to? You're out of your mind. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, not you too. Ah, what a performance. What a shit. Do you think the audience is getting it? It's way over their heads. Look here. Hey, we just come here to check and see if you jostled your memory. I told you I never signed any. Uh... Yes, as a matter of fact, I did sign that IOU. He remembers. Literally. When are you going to pay off your debt to one of America's most respectable voting crack games? Well, that's just it. I haven't got it. I would have at the end of the week if the show could run. Oh, it'll run. It's entertaining, vivacious, and calculated to please the discriminating theater goer. You can vote me. Unfortunately, Miss Vanessa, my co-star is quitting. Quitting? As of now, temperament. Didn't like the way I played our little scene. No. Oh! oh. Well, she's dressing to leave the theater right now. I'll have to return whatever money there is in the box office. Oh, she can't do that. Maybe you gentlemen could have a word with her, heart to heart. Heart to heart? That's our specialty. <laughs> Lily! Oh, Lily! There's no use trying to persuade me. Some very ardent admirers of yours. Gentlemen? Are you management? Ah, Miss Vanessa, you have been my ideal for years. I admired my wife because in a certain light, you know, when it's kind of dark, she might pass for your sister. How sweet. Your glorious voice has been an inspiration to me in my work. What a trooper. What a personality. Now, is it true, Miss Vanessa? You're contemplating on quitting this high-type entertainment? I am. Uh, Ms. Vanessa, as you know, the show must go on. Oh, uh, I'm just shifting the weight off of uh, one side to the other. See, uh, we got a financial interest in the success of this show, as well as poison. And now, Ms. Vanessa, you are going to play this show out tonight, and at least till the end of the week, when Mr. Grant we have pays his end of honor. Are you threatening me? Now, now, Ms. Vanessa, let's, uh, let's talk it over. Fred! This is an outrage! <laughs>